So the first time I saw Parasite was in theaters. Uh, the movie was receiving a lot of hype and um, it kind of kind of made me, I don't know, negative about it because you know when movies get over hype. Uh, so I went, I saw it in theaters when it hit New Orleans and I gotta say, even though it received a ton of hype, um, I believe it was under hyped. And I think it was a perfect choice to to win the the best picture, the first foreign film to win best picture at the Oscars. This is my first time seeing this movie uh, for this podcast. I didn't see it when it first came out, and I had forgotten that it had won an Oscar or Oscars or or Grammys or Emmys or whatever these things win nowadays. Um, I, I I had a somewhat sh- strong negative response to the film um i after about 40 minutes i kind of figured what they were doing and i then found the the sort of genre a little confusing it seemed to at some points go towards farce and at other times go towards something quite different i don't think it was in the end farcical um so i i found the the ideas behind the movie uh familiar i kind of figured it out what they would kind of do pretty quickly on and then i i found myself kind of frustrated for the 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 latter hour 20 or or whatever was left after the first 40 minutes so yeah i I guess i had a different (laughs) response than you ragnar um but but that's all right i mean i'm glad i watched it that looks like a lovely piece of property that was the the set piece for the film and um i i might not be revisiting it and then with for me with parasite the the first time i saw it i was uh i was impressed um impressed in the sense of um this this was one of one of my so I went through a watching a lot of Korean movies uh, when I was probably about what maybe 10 15 years ago and I felt like this one was up there with uh, I think it was uh, what's his name uh, the guy who did the director who did um, Old Boy the Old Boy or part of the Old Boy trilogy but with Parasite I think it was how it layered in you know I think that for anybody who's seen it the the real thing is like the the class warfare or looking at the kind of the socioeconomic standings of two families and what and how both of them relate to each other, feed off of each other, how they're similar, dissimilar. Uh, but on top of that, it was the a lot of the contrast and the imagery and the scene setups and the the music, you know, a lot of operatic tones that really highlighted or brought um, certain things from scenes, you know, kind of to the forefront. So it wasn't just like the the acting or the the concepts in the movie, it was also how a lot of things were brought to the the audiences. So for me as an audience, was brought to my attention and how they use a lot of things um, that were either in the background to show contrast um, as well as comparison that I, I really enjoyed with uh, with Parasite. Like Tom, this was also my first watch of the film, and I was much very much looking forward to watching this. I made sure to not have any spoilers or really understand the plot or anything, even with all the hype that surrounded it. So it's been a while since it's been out in 2019 and I've stayed in my little bubble. So I was really looking forward to watching this one. And just like Ragnar said, I was, I'm always concerned when there is so much hype and I do fall into the camp that I think the hype was well-deserved. What Tom might've struggled with, I actually embraced the fact that it kind of morphs from different genres. And usually I am pretty good at predicting what is going to happen in a film, but this one uh, changed drastically from one genre to another and even to another after that. So I could understand why it could be challenging if someone was trying to peg it into one specific box because it really was a, a few different types all kind of commingled into one. And I think he did a really good job with it. But again, we'll get more into that in the episode, but I'm very glad that I had to watch. And I actually do want to rewatch this uh, possibly with my wife. She wasn't able to watch it with me. So we'll see if uh, how I feel after a second watch. <laughs>